A U.S. tourist has been stabbed in the Caribbean. We're going to get you the information on that. Additionally, we have cruise news from across the industry. We're going to give you the 15 latest headlines, and we're going to give it to you fast, coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Okay, we've got the 15 latest cruise news headlines for you. So let's go ahead and jump into it with number one. There has been another cruise ship sickness outbreak. This time it was on board the Emerald Princess cruise ship on their cruise that just ended. The CDC is reporting this as a sickness outbreak. So far, 97 passengers and 18 crew members have been reported to become sick. The primary symptoms were vomiting and diarrhea, and the Emerald Princess cruise ship did begin increased cleaning and disinfection in accordance with the ship's outbreak prevention and response plan. Number two, the Coast Guard is reporting that Cuban repatriations are on the rise. Frequently in the cruise news, you will hear of Cuban migrants being picked up by the Coast Guard or by cruise ships. These migrants are later repatriated back to Cuba while that number is skyrocketing. In the last six months, the Coast Guard has intercepted 6,202 Cubans. That's more than all of last year combined. And for a comparison, in the years 2018 to 2021, the number was considerably less than 1,000 per year. So just in the last six months, there's been more than six times that amount. Moving on to number three, Norwegian Cruise Line has added fans to their prohibited items list. Like other cruise lines, Norwegian has a prohibited items list. Well, over the last several days, they have added a number 31 to the bottom of that list, prohibiting all fans without exception. But literally in the last hour, they have changed that. And it now reads, all types of fans with the exception of small electrical and battery operated fans. Please note these fans are subject to confiscation by the ship's security team for inspection and approval. So it seems they have heard and received the feedback from cruisers. As far as other cruise lines go, Carnival Cruise Line, they permit fans that are no larger than 12 inches in diameter. And in Royal Caribbean and Disney Cruise Line, they have no restrictions on fans. If you would like to see Norwegian Cruise Line's full list of 31 prohibited items, I'll put that list down in the video description. Number four, if you happen to be cruising to Belize, keep an eye out for a cargo ship that has run aground. Belize is one of the ports where the cruise ship stays out at sea and smaller boats tender pastures in. Well, this past week, a cargo ship had an engine failure and ran aground on a reef about eight miles offshore. The 13 crew members on board are safe, but seeing a ship that has run aground is not something you see every day. Number five, a big change weekend for cruising. There were five changes of note that went into effect. I will recap those very quickly. First, Norwegian Cruise Line, they return to the E-Muster safety drill for some of their ships. The rest will do the same very soon. Second, Carnival Cruise Line's gratuities increased by about $1.50 per person per day. Third, Grand Turk dropped its vaccination requirement and will now welcome all guests. Next, Carnival Cruise Line's Behind the Fun Tour returned. And fifth, the Luxury Cruise Line Ponnet, they dropped their vaccination requirement as well. Moving on to number six, Disney Cruise Line. They celebrated the kill lane ceremony for their new ship, the Disney Treasure. The Disney Treasure is set to debut in 2024. And then with another Disney headline, number seven, Disney Cruise Line has announced where they will home port their new ship, the Global Dream. The Global Dream is scheduled to debut in 2025, and Disney Cruise Line has announced that that cruise ship will be home ported in Singapore. Number eight, MSC Cruise Line has opened bookings for their new mega ship, the MSC World America. The MSC World America cruise ship is scheduled to launch in April of 2025. The ship will be home ported in MSC's new cruise terminal that is currently under construction at Port Miami. Okay, real quick, we have seven cruise headlines to go, including the top headlines of the day. But speaking of all of these new ships, sometimes the inaugural cruise can be a little rough around the edges. The crew, they're new to the ship, and all of the wrinkles haven't been quite ironed out yet. Things like that. So quick question for you, chime in below. Would you be interested in sailing on an inaugural cruise? A, yes. B, no. Or C, depends on the ship. And of course, if you have other input, I would love to hear that as well. But now, on with the cruise news. Number nine, the Maritime Accident Report for March of 2023 is in. The report includes data for all larger vessels. And during the month of March, there were 61 accidents, four ships lost, 69 fatalities, and that is the highest month since May of 2021. And there were three crew members that were kidnapped. Speaking of accidents, number 10, this past week, Pino Cruise Line's Britannia cruise ship helped to search for missing people from a capsized boat. Three people were confirmed dead, 13 were missing, and 19 were rescued after a boat capsized off of St. Kitts in the Caribbean. Prayers definitely for the impacted family. 
And then with a bit of strange news, number 11, the global beach towel market is expected to skyrocket. The global beach towel market is currently at 33 million US dollars annually, but with the increase of cruising and beach vacations is expected to grow nearly 50% in the next 10 years to nearly 49 million dollars annually. Number 12, Long Beach, California's Queen Mary cruise ship is officially reopened. The iconic historical cruise ship has been undergoing repairs since the beginning of 2020. The ship is 87 years old, rich in history. It offers a glory days tour, a steam and still tour, and a haunted and counter tour you can also book a stateroom to stay overnight if you happen to be cruising out of long beach california it may be something worth checking out Number 13, Margaritaville at Sea Cruise Line is offering season passes for unlimited sailings, but they are sort of limited. The offering cost $899 and it is for the Paradise cruise ship that sails between Port of Palm Beach and Freeport, Bahamas. The cost includes the ability to bring one additional person free, but it does not include taxes, fees, or port expenses. The pass sounds good on the surface, but there are some catches. I looked into it and the pass would not work for my family, but if you are interested, I will put more details down in the video description. Number 14, a U.S. tourist was shot in the leg in the Mexico resort town of Puerto Morelos on the Caribbean coast. The tourist was out at night and they were shot after they approached the suspects. The injury is non-life threatening. The U.S. State Department issued a travel alert last month for travelers to exercise increased caution, especially after dark, in Mexico's Caribbean resort towns due to drug gang violence. Then in another incident, number 15, a U.S. tourist has been stabbed while on the Caribbean island of Turks and Caicos. The U.S. tourist was a 48-year-old male. He was attacked by a 35-year-old Haitian man who had a knife. The attacker had also been arrested the previous night in a separate incident for causing a disturbance at a local resort. The Haitian man has once again been arrested. The current condition of the U.S. tourist is unknown. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising, and we'll catch you in the next video. Ooh.